Genesis chapter 48. The Lord said to Jacob, I will make you fruitful and numerous and will give this land to your descendants after you for an everlasting possession. And now you are two sons who were born for you in the land of Egypt before I came to you in Egypt they shall no longer be your children but they shall be mine Ephraim and Manasseh shall be mine exactly as Reuben and Simeon but the offsprings that you shall get after these two sons you shall name them after after you are on. Now as for me. When I came from Padan. I lost Rachel. To my sorrow. In the land of Canaan. When Israel saw Joseph's sons. He said to him. Who are these? And Joseph said to his father, They are my sons, whom God has given me here in the land of Egypt. Bring them that I may bless them. Hallelujah. You remember in the previous chapter, Jacob called his sons and he told them, Come, that I may tell you of what shall befall you. Now this time, he is telling the children of his son, Come that I may bless you. To his own sons he spoke a fortune. But to his grandchildren. He is blessing them. Now the eyes of Israel were dim. Because of his age factor. So Joseph brought his sons to him. And Israel said to Joseph. I never expected to see your face. Because you had been taken away from me. But it has pleased the Lord. To let me see your children. So Joseph took his children to his father. Ephraim positioned at the right hand of Joseph and Manasseh positioned at the left hand of Joseph. But Israel stretched out his heart crisscrossed and blessed Manasseh with the blessing of Ephraim and Ephraim with the blessing of Manasseh. Now these are the blessing now. Let me read the blessing for you so that you can get a distinction between what he gave Levi, his son, as a fortune and not as a blessing. In other words, he wished him well. But this time he is blessing his grandchildren. Now he is blessing them in verse 15. And he said, the God before whom my father Abraham and Isaac walked the God who has been my shepherd all my life to this day the angel who has redeemed me from all manner of evil bless you all the days of your life and may my name live on in you and the names of my father Abraham and Isaac. And may you grow into a multitude in the midst of the earth. Now there is a problem here in relation to the culture. Verse 17. When Joseph saw that his father laid his right hand on Ephraim, 
akaona babake ameweka mkono wake wa kulia wa Ifrahim. It displeased him. Akufraishwa. And so he grasped his father's hand to remove it from Ifrahim. Akashika mkono wake akaondoa kutoka kwa Ifrahim. And placed it on Amanase's head. Na akaweka juu ya kichwa Manase. And Joseph said to his father. Yusuf akamwambia baba yake. Not so my father. Sio hivyo baba yangu. For this one is the firstborn. Kwa sababu huyu ni mzaliwa kwa Manase. Place your right hand on Manase and not Ephraim. Weka mkono wako wa kulia kwa Manase sio Ephraim. But his father refused. Lakini baba yake akakataa. And he said. Na akasema. I know what I am doing my son. Najua kile ambacho unafanya mwana wangu. Yes, Manase shall also be great ndio manasa atakuwa mkuu pia haleluya haleluya a blessed be the name of jesus however lakini this younger brother huyo mdogo wake shall be greater than him atakuwa mkuu kuliko yeye and he blessed him that na, day na akambariki siku hiyo saying akisema by you kwa kutoka kwako israel israeli shall pronounce blessing saying itatamka baraka ikisema may god make you like if Ibrahim wacha Mungu akufanye kama Ibrahim <laughs> Manase Manase In Jesus name. Amen. We bless you Father for the reading of the word of God. We pray for relevance. Tunaomba kwa umana and revelation of God. Na ufunuo wa Bwana. Through this word. Kupitia kwa neno hili. Forgive somebody. Samia mtu. Deliver somebody. Kwa Bwana mtu. Lord again give someone sense. Bwana and a meaning in life for the glory and the honor of your name break a curse upon somebody today in Jesus name celebrate the Lord celebrate the Lord hallelujah hallelujah last time we talked about this thing in details and right now I want to bring it to the conclusion and as I bring it to the conclusion Napoileta kwa utimisho. I will teach you how to break a curse. We said a curse. It is a negative energy. Ni nguvu ambayo ni kinyume imposed on someone ambayo inawekwa juu ya mtu whose objective is to malfunction the life of that person ambayo inataka kule kufanya maisha ya mtu isiende sawa sawa. It has got the objective being to see you negative in life kini chake ni kufanya ukaishi maisha mayo sio mazuri that throughout the rest of your life kwa kwamba maisha yako yote you have your face covered with the pain uko na uso wako umefundikwa na uchungu gives you room to rejoice or be happy over anything akupatii nafasi ukafurahia kwa chombo lolote let me tell you curses are real wacha niwaambie laana ni ni kweli i have a problem with the people believing that blessings are real niko na shida na watu ambao wanajiamini kwamba baraka ni kweli but they don't want to believe that curses are real lakini wasi I can curse you naweza kulaani i can bless you naweza kubariki though i'm not entitled to curse you i mean hata kama sina nafasi ya kukurani i'm entitled to bless your life mimi niko katika nafasi ya kukubariki maisha yako anybody in authority can bless you mimi yote kwa mamlaka naweza kulabariki you can be blessed when you know unaweza kubariki ukiwa unajua sometimes you can be cast behind the walls wakati mwingine unaweza laaniwa nyuma ya kutua someone just curses you when you don't know utaona kulaani tu bila wewe kujua hallelujah hallelujah i see it happening there is a program on social media we call it the loyalty between couples of people in a relationship it is conducted by a guy we call the pluto he meets the two of you as a couple he gives you 20000 and he says give her your phone let her give you her phone. Let us go through. And confirm if you are loyal to your husband. Or if he's loyal to you. They miss 20,000. That is when the Felix realizes Anne is a pro. <laughs> Something is happening outside there. Imagine sharing the bed with somebody. But there is no loyalty. And it has varieties of cases. The one of the cases that amazed me in a way. Is a situation that concerns a young man. Who is that five, thirty-seven years now? He got a young girl who had been sent away by his mother, her mother and father away from home. 
ambaye alikuwa amefukuzwa kutoka nyumbani na baba yake na mama yake kwa sababu alikuwa mjamzito of a man she didn't know na mtu ambaye hakuwa anajua she got this other man akapata huyo mtu she put her pregnancy on this man akaweka akamwekezea huyu mimba yake this man knew it but never spoke of it huyo mtu akajua lakini hakuna hela yes raised her amemulea till when she gave back baka kamza he took her back to form 4 akamrudisha kidato cha 4 She did her fourth form exam. Akafanya kidato cha mtano kidato cha. She passed. Akapita. He has taken her to college. Amempeleka college. Right now after she graduates. Baada ya kuhitimu. She graduates with a man. Anahitimu na mwanamume. You get it? Unapata? And now the only answer she gives to this young man. Jawapo tunapatia huyu kijana. There are better men with the range rovers. Kuna wanaume wazuri ambao Why do I have to struggle with you with a bicycle? Mbona ningangane na wewe na big This guy shed tears. Huyo kijana anafuta And he was like. Na akawa kwamba I may not be so good in the things of God. Wenda si siku mzuri katika I may not know how to bewitch somebody like. Wenda si tuji hizi ya kuloga maisha mtu. But in as much as this sun and the moon and the stars are witnesses. Lakini vile hii chua nyota na mwezi sina And by this tears. Na kwa majonzi haya may you never make sense in life. Usifanye umaana kwa maisha. Look at those words. Angalia maneno hayo and you expect it shall be well with you. Na unatarajia kwamba itakuwa vyema na wewe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at that. Angalia hiyo. Ivoni wewe hujaoleka hapa. Tafadhali kama kuna mwanaume anakupenda heshima tu huyo mtu. Hata kama hana pesa mingi kama huyo mwingine wewe heshima huyo. Kuna baraka zinakujanga. Sisi tukioana wale mnajua mnajua hatukukuwa na kitu. I had explained the reality of a curse. Nielesea uhalisia walaana. And some of us are cursed but you don't know that you are cursed. Wengine tumelaaniwa lakini hatujui kama tumelaanika. There's a circumstances Kuna of hali, life. Hali za maisha. And the situations of life. Hali hizo za maisha. Some kinds of illnesses. Kwa sababu ya magonjwa. Joblessness. Huko usakazi. I'm not really saying that some of these things are as a result of a curse. Sisemi kwamba baadhi ya haya ni chanzo jalana but many of them lakini baadhi ya wao wa wengi they are a product of wao ni chanzo cha some of the happenings in life mambo yanayotendeka kwa maisha especially the misfortune ones na kile ambao yaeri mbaya they are a product of a curse hizo zinaletwa na laana they are an indication that Something has been fertilized in your life. Ni kuna kuonyesha kwamba kuna kitu ambacho kimesaliwa katika maisha yako. The devil blind folds you. Yaani the shetani anakuwekea upofu to put your focus on the things that are not. Kuweka mtasama kwa mambo ambayo sio. As though they are. Ni kama yapo. You focus on the shadow. Unaweka mtasama kwa kivuli. When in real sense. Lakini kwa hali yao alisia. What is it think you? Kila mbacho kinakukula. It was not born today. Haikusaliwa leo hii. I thought and said nilifunza nikasema it began from adam inaanza kwa adamu adam was cast by god adamu alilaaniwa na mungu the first man to be cast mtu wa kwanza kulaaniwa otherwise akwata kwa taifa had he received the knowledge of the word anke pot kea ufunuo neno let me say wacha niseme hii the problem with adam shida ya adam he lacked the revelation alikosa ufunuo had he revelation angekuwa na ufunuo he could have repented angetubu ah yes instead of adam repenting mara yeye kutubu he turned it into a blame game akaipeleka kikwama ya woman you gave to me huyo mwanamko aliyenipa now it becomes a blame game sasa ikaanza ni kuhusu the woman says it is the snake mwanamke anasema ni nyoka today we meet people with the issues in marriage tunakutana na watu ambao wako na man knows that i can prove that he is wrong felix anajua kwamba anaweza kuhakikisha kwamba yeye ni says come on no no it is an anasema ni an but an says na an anasema it is my aunt ni aunt sengazi wangu had an received the revelation angepata ufunuo she could just have repented angetupo adam lacked revelation adam akakosa ufunuo ah, blessed be the name Tengi of jesus na Now when he failed to repent kutubo, that curse was not broken it got to be sustained in the realm of the spirit it could not go back to god 
It had to be kept in the realm of the spirit. And it began on this aspect of disobedience. Hallelujah. 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 It was born by disobedience. Now there is a problem here. His failure to repent. It is the reason this curse was passed to the next generation. Now it is affecting Cain and Abel. A blessed be the name of Jesus. Adam has not cast his children. The children are good. Like any responsible father. Adam loved his children. He never cast them. He never wished to cast them. But because he had failed to repent, the curse existed in the realm of the spirit. And when the appointed time came, it landed on Cain. And it manifested itself. Through what he called murder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Upon Cain. The appointed time has come. But there is nobody to speak it. Because for a curse to become effective, it has to be spoken. Hallelujah. It has to be declared. For a blessing also to become effective, it has to be declared. Now the problem with here, the time has come for the curse to be come evident that the person to declare it he is not willing to cast his children now in the realm of the spirit it generates itself to kind through envy and it gives birth to murder the mistake we are making as Christians it is to focus on the shadow envy is a shadow murder is a shadow the reality of the problem it is on disobedience hallelujah now let's say we have forgotten this generation let us forget this one because he was killed and come back to replacement of Abel which is set now on our brother sets through his generation God has given us Noah the bishop of the church of the ark of the covenant now God is like yes my plan was thwarted but I'm still called by myself I was not created I was not appointed I am God by myself whether you get born again or not I can still restore my plan and he says I want to restore my plan through Noah so he begins first of all by appointing a pastor the Bible says whenever God wants to do something on earth he begins first of all by appointing for himself a man and sending a man for that he has sent Noah so that Noah can become an agent that he brings forth the floods to clear off the surface of the earth and he has done it hallelujah you remember the reason why these curses are being attracted it is because of what you call violation of the covenant. The plan of God right from Adam it was to establish the kingdom of God on earth. Let us make man in our own image and likeness and let him take dominion. Now the issue is Adam has violated the covenant through disobedience. Now whenever you break the covenant whether you like it or not it comes with the consequences. Some of you could be free from curses yes but you are walking under the side effects of the the covenants you broke. Because the mistakes most people do. 
Mamakosa watu wengi utenda after they broke the covenant baada ya kufunja agano and they almost experienced the punishment na wana utaku they repented and they got forgiven wana tubu na wasi kasamewa also to make a sacrifice that they are healed from the side effects of the broken covenants na uathiri wa ufunjaji wa agano hilo now through noah kupitia kwa noah god has already achieved the first plan Mungu amefanikiwa mpango wa kwanza of wiping out the face of the earth with water. Ya kuharibu vyote na garika. But the very day Noah opened to the ark. Lakini ile siku Noah alifungua safina, he comes out. Anatoka nje. And the curse in the system. La laana ambayo ilikuwa kwa mtindo huo. In its appointed time. Kwa wakati timlifu. Lands again in the house of Noah. Ikanguka tena kwa nyumba ya Noah. Through what we call. Kupitia kile ambacho tunacho kiita drunkardness ulevi huyu jamaa ametoka tu kwa safina saa hii na anakunywa pombe now through drunkardness kupitia kwa ulevi the covenant is violated hiyo agano tena imefunjwa now he is forced to, to curse him for having seen him naked kwa kumuona akiwa uji haleluya haleluya some of we pastors and fathers we expose ourselves watoto wakisha tuona tunaanza tukutembea tukisema wacheni kuona baba yenu akiwa uchi mtalaaniwa the question is you are an irresponsible father well, for having exposed your nakedness wewe ni baba usiyewajibika kama baba jiite mkutano kwanza hmm. jiulize kabla ni laani huyu mtoto je swali ni kwamba ni wapi nimekosea wewe unajua account ya kanisa eh iko na signature si wangapi watatu alafu kwa hiyo signature si watatu baada ya kufungua account wewe ulirudi na mke wako mkatengeneza nini ATM sasa unaendanga <coughs> without the notice au wengine watatu ni wajinga wao wanataka wangoje karatasi iletewe wasa wasign kumbe pesa inakamuliwanga tu kwa bank na nyinyi hamjui sasa pasa anafanya makosa kama hayo na hataki muonge ah come on fathers of this house also We have to come to a place when we have to stop being stupid. Amen. Kabla uanze kulaani watoto watu wamekosa swali ni kwamba wewe umehusika wapi? Umeona tu ukatoa suruali yako ukasimama mbele uchi hivi watoto wakuone ndio tena uanze kulaani laani watoto kwa nini umeniona nikiwa uche? Excuse me, jaribu laani mimi uone. Mtanilaani watoto wako ndio watakufuranga miguu akitoka shule akishika mimba za mapema wakitoka ngoja. Laani wiki lipo wapi? Ah ah as fathers also let us position ourselves kama baba tujue katika nafasi jiite mkutano kama baba takuongea sana lakini pia wazazi tuangalie mzaa anarudi nyumbani amelewa amechikojolea mate imepita imeteremka kamasi imepita imeteremka amejipupulia na mtoto wake ndio huyu anarudi kutoka shuleni na akona na wenzake marafiki zake Do you expect your son to be proud of you? Na nyinyi wazazi japokuwa ni vyema watoto kuwaheshimu ili ya kwamba wapate heri na waishi miaka mirefu kuweni waangalifu ipasavyo kuhakikisha kwamba msiwakorofishe watoto wenu. I'm really sorry that some of your children they are not proud of you. Vile unatokanga na suruali unaanika kwa mlango ya plot hivi na mtoto wako anaona mama mzima natoka na suruali hivi wa, siku zetu hata suruali ya mama haungeiona sokoni kamisi ya mama haungeiona sokoni unaamka tu napata mama mkamba very beautiful woman amekuweka suruali iko kwa mlango hivi and you must not talk na kumbuka kuna siku nyingine nilingoja zikakauka za jirani mwingine suruali sita na kamisi moja na kanjiri wakati nilikauka nikachukua nikaenda nikanunua kerosene nikazimwagilia nikachoma nikamwambia nipeleke kwa chief nimechoma suruali na zingine asijafuliwa vizuri na mama mnajua wakati hujafua suruali kama ni chafu vile inakaa sasa mtoto wako anaona suruali yako iko na stains then you expect that that child will be reasonable huyo mtoto hata hawai kuheshimu wange ni kuambia ukweli kama utaka kusikia hii samu unisikize tu vizuri some of you your children are not proud of you And that's why they don't even desire that they get blessed of you. Wewe baba unajua tu vizuri uko na watoto kwa nyumba. Anda wewe imetoboka hapa imeto iko na indicator iko na indicator iko na. Alafu hauna aibu, unaiacha kwa bafu umeianika kwa kamba ya bafu. 
na unajua kwa hiyo bafu unashaa na nani na mtoto wako the question becomes how do you expect that boy to be proud of you omwana we inzoha ne inzoha atabadilika akue kitu kingine kibaya zaidi kukuliko wewe na una aibu unakuja kumkelelesha kwa sababu umepata akifuta bangi kwa nyumba yake amekaa kwa kiti akifuta nini bangi akikuuliza swali daddy prove to me that i should not do this wewe utamwambia aje unarudingi kwa nyumba umewewa nini sigara unavuta hivi the question is tell me how you will tell that boy it is wrong to smoke wakati unavutanga wakiona fathers let us look at our positions especially sisi wachungaji na wacheni niwaambie wachungaji mko hapa tafadhali wacheni niwaambie tu kweli vile tunalea watoto wa watu pia sisi tunaza that's why unaona watoto wa wachungaji wanalala sitaki kusema hivyo mwalimu nataka unisikilize vizuri kuja hapa walimu na wachungaji makinika ipasavyo kuna mwalimu alinitanga kwa parade nikishaimba ananipigia makofa anasema mwana wewe imbwa saa hizi he has produced very stupid boys none of his children is successful na yeye mwenyewe pombe imempeleka kwa kaburi angalau angeni appreciate na saa hizo nimekula na zinyende mtu wa Mungu zinyende imekula miguu haujui kesho ya huyo mtu kesho ya huyo mtu iko kwa mikono ya Mungu walimu na wachungaji tumakinike kamtiana kamutu ndio kameshika mimba makosa yamepatikana how do you solve that problem every day huyo mtoto anakuwa ndio topic kwa madhabahu sasa mmemsukuma amekuja ametubu ndio lakini kando na kutubu amepona roho ndio lakini psychologically kuna vita vinaendelea vita vya guilt vita vya aibu kwa sababu mama mchungaji akisimama anatumiwa kama example mchungaji akisimama huyo mtoto bado anatumiwa kama example wako mwenyewe ameshika mimba ukachukua ukaenda kuficha kwa anti yako azalie huko ukakuja kudanganya kanisa kwa hii madhabahu ya kwamba ameenda boarding school atarudi akifunga atarudi mtoto akitembea ngoja tunaza leheni watoto wa watu vizuri wazazi tumakinike na angaliange Eric Omond na muhurumia sana na hizo vitu anafanya na wasichana wa watu and in public Ngoja watoto wake wa growth wafike pahali number one, when they see what Eric Omondi is doing they will never be proud of their father that's why watoto wa baadhi ya hawa celebs number one, they don't want to come in public waonekane because they are not proud of their parents hiyo program Eric Omondi ana run hiyo inaitwa wife material it is a wicked program that no father no mother would want to see it demonstrated on his or her child er komondi asha panda mbegu ambayo lazima watoto wake watakuja kufanya nini gani kuvuna vile unatumia watoto wa wenzako wako watafanya nini gani watakuja kutumiwa na watakapotumiwa watatumiwa vibaya zaidi ya jinsi ulivyo tumia wa wenzako kwa sababu mtu unapopanda mbegu unavunanga mbegu pamoja na mkate wake Nimeona ingine kwa social media. Ngombe ingine imeajiriwa kama house gun. Na haijui mwenye hiyo nyumba amechukua ya CCTV ameweka kwa saa. Hiyo saa unaona tu ina kaunti kienda hivi. Kumbe kuna ka CCTV kako hapo kana record everything in the sitting room. Anasukuma mtoto wa mtu akifanya hivi, anamkanyaga tege kwa kifua. Unarudi nyumbani kama mtoto kama akaka akana adjectives za kutosha kueleza kile kamepitia. Let me tell you that's why you can never be married hata upate wanaume wangapi wanakupenda mpaka wapi ukweli ni kwamba bingu hazitaruhusu na ukaoleka utatoka kwa hiyo ndoa kwa sababu ya vile umelea mtoto wa wenyewe ile pesa unalipwa na huyo bozi wako baada kutumia mtoto wake vibaya kumkanyaga kwa kifua kumchapa makofi ukweli ni kwamba unapoikula unaikula kama laana na dasu na kasichana kadogo kama an hapa atika kwa na ulcers atika kwa na pressure kako na heart issues moyo umeanza kufura sijui nini imeanza unashikwa ana haya yametoka wapi wakati 
mwingine ni vizuri unajiita mkutano ujiulize mwenyewe katika kio je ni nini ambacho naweza kuwa nimefanyia wenzangu ama mtu yeyote katika aya maisha ambacho huenda kimevutia aina hii ya laana juu ya maisha yangu tafadhali leo mtoto wenyewe vizuri wako atalelewa bwana asifiwe This is the first parent to curse his son. Huyu ni mzazi wa kwanza kumlaani mwanawe. But in the process of cursing. Lakini hiyo mtindo The Bible says. Biblia sema that curse. Hiyo laana. God never allowed it to land on Ham. Mungu akuruhusu ikatue chuo. Because Ham had been blessed of God. Kwa sababu Ham alikuwa amebarikiwa tangu Mungu. If there is anything I wish you desire this day. Kama kuna kitu ungetamani katika maisha yako leo hii. You get blessed of God. Ni kwamba ubarikiwe na Mungu. Because the blessings of the Lord they make rich. And they come with no sorrows. Sometimes you may want your father to bless you. But he may have died long ago. Sometimes you might want her to bless you. And she may not be willing. But if you pray that God blesses you. Whether your parent blessed you or not. You will still prosper in this life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Now look here. When you are blessed by God. Wakati umebarikiwa na Mungu. Hata wazee waluya wangapi wakae vikao vingapi? Walaani laana ngapi? Wakikula msaya ng'ombe sijui na manyama gani? It will never touch. Haiwezi kuogoza. Jaribu angalie maboma ya wale watu ambao wanatumika kufanya utamaduni. Atukisikia kwa nani kimetokea kitu, wewe ndio uko preserved kubeba madawa za kienyeji ya manyasi. Wewe ndio uko preserved kubeba siji nini? Angalia hizo familia. Akonanga mtu wa sense anatokenga kwa hizo familia. Because there is a portion you carry you as the priest. Kuna sehemu unapeba kama kwani. <laughs> Let me tell you. Acha niwaambie. If I better your life as a preacher. Kinifanya maisha yako yawe mazuri kama mbibi. Whether you give me something or not. Unipe usinipe. God shall get my life better. Mungu ataweza fanya maisha yangu yawe salama. Why? It's because there is a portion you carry as a priest. Kuna sehemu unapeba kama kwani. So if you cast somebody Ukilani mto there is a portion you carry. Kuna sehemu unabeba. You are ruining your own house. Naenda nayo kwa nyumba yako. Ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes as a husband and a wife. You have to come to a consensus. Lazima ufike makubaliano. And they say, Aseme, this man is stupid. Ma this woman is arrogant yes. Huyu mama bila But niwana. when I look at the fact that this one's need a future. Wakati naangalia naona huyu anataka atima. I accept to lose in this battle. Naweza kubali nishindwe katika vita hii leo hii. So that I can win tomorrow. Ili nikaweza kushinda kesho. When you look at the bigger picture of holding your house together. Unaangalia picha kubwa ya kuweza kushikilia nyumba yako. You accept to lose it right now. Unakubali kupoteza saa hii. Ela hata bwibu anyekane. Bwibu na bahana bwimu ni wasori. Bwibu na wanawake wa mdomo. Waje tu waongee. Acha ta ongee. Sometimes toka tu kwa nyumba enda hapo nje ninua strong tea. Jipange soma gazeti ya 1992. Utarudi anashindwa sasa huyu mtu mwenye anaongelesha ni kama mti tu. Alafu napata hani hani when she he calls she calls you hani also respond wacha kukua anda mandi. Abantu basheme rom mtsuru mulikuwa ni problem. Wale watu walitahiriwa kwa mzitu mko na problem. Kwa sababu kwa mzitu uliambiwa mwanamke sijui ni kitu gani let us leave from that place. Hallelujah. Amen. Now look at this. Angalia hii sasa. When it failed to touch him. Wakati ilikosa kumwangukia. The Bible says. Bible inasema Noah Noah transferred that curse akapitisha hiyo alama to his grandchild kwa wachuku wake the son of Ham mwana wa Ham by the name of Canaan ambaye jina lake Canaan now Canaan is getting cast innocently is it okay Canaan anaanza kulaaniwa pasipo na makosa he is getting cast innocently anaglaaniwa pasipo na makosa over a problem he doesn't know juu ya shida ba hiyo over an issue He had never been told about. Mambo ambaye hajaambiwa kuyahusu. That's why today I'm confident to tell you. Ndio sababu leo hii na ujasiri wa kuambia. The reason you've not built a house at all. Sababu ambayo utajenga nyumba nyingi. It is because your guka never built a house. Ni kwa sababu guka yake hakujenga. Now you are living in the effects of the shadows. Unaishi katika uadhiri wa kivuli. Of the things that happened behind the walls. Ya mambo ambayo yalitendeka pasipo wakati baba ukwepo. Guka yako alizaa baba zako na akafunguza shosha yako. Shosho alirudisha kuzikwa. Sasa baba zako wote nao wakajaribu wakaoa, wakakaa na mabibi zao, lakini wakapigana. Ni maisha tu ya kuvumiliana, kuvumiliana. There was no love. Lakini pia katika kuzana mabibi zao wanazaa nje tena. I don't know if you are getting me. Sasa wewe 
umefocus attention yako katika swala ya kwamba unataka uone hiyo laana ikijidhihirisha venye ilijidhihirisha kwa kuka. Yeah. We umesimama tu unasema mimi sitafukuza bibi yangu, sitafukuza bibi yangu. Na umesahau hiyo laana kumbe iko active kwa nyumba yako na haujui. Already iko active ni vile inajidhihirisha on a different manner. How? We hujafukuza bibi yako ndio lakini mnamchapananga. Sasa wewe haufukuza bibi kama guka lakini umekuwa ukichapana na mke wako. Lakini hawa watoto wako na hawa wanazaa tu nje lakini hawawezi kuoa. Wewe unafikiria unangoja ile laana ya kukae kuja jidhirisha vile ilikuwa kumbe sio hivyo inakuja ina generate into a new format. So the reason why the devil is causing you to go by the shadows is because anajua ukijua laana yenyewe original vile iko utaikemea utaivunja na upate maisha mazuri. Sasa na wewe unashindwa kwani nini inafanyika? Wa, umezaa watoto hata wale umezaa nje ni sawa fine umejukumika umesomesha lakini kanafika form 2 kwa mimba au walimu mnasikianga wanalala na wanafunzi sio kupenda kwao fuatilia <laughs> kukaa ni hapo ikara so msiona vitu zinafanyika hivi watu wa Mungu unajua ukipata such tree ukiflona from the roots utakuja ku realize hakuna ukabila Kenya ukabila ingekuwa Kenya tungekuwa tunaiona wakati mwingine apart from election kitu kiko Kenya sio ukabila mzizi ni Kenyata na nani na uginga odinga huko nyuma watu wa Mungu wa China azimio ipite wakikuu mkitaka mchukie uhuru mchukieni ndio lakini ukweli tu ubaki ya kwamba angalau mahusiano yake na Raila yaende na wahubiri nao wakiwa na sense waingie ndani hiyo laana ifanye namna gani ya uadui ifanye namna gani ivunjike angalau kizazi kingine kipya hapa Kenya kizaliwe Kenya kuna ukabila lakini kwa sababu sasa walia tumeshikana na wajaluo na wakisi sijui na kina nani haya wakikui nao sikiwa wameshikana kina nani kina nani na kina nani sasa inakuwa ni magroup mawili badala ya watu wawili ni magroup mawili tunaanza kulimana sio tu kuna ukabila Canaan is cast for not knowing Canadian outcalani wa is walking under a curse anatembea chini now let us say that we have finished it tuseme tumemalizana na yeye under Canaan or upon Canaan. Now let us come back to Abraham. Hallelujah. The blessed one of God. God wants to reestablish his kingdom through Abraham. God loves Abraham. He tells him, come with me to a place I will show you. <laughs> and he's giving him promises. Unlike Adam, Unlike Cain, unlike Kinyumena, unlike Abel, Seth and the rest of this generation. Let me make it different with Abraham. First of all, before I establish it with Abraham, let me promise him. <laughs> now, on Abraham, God begins with the promises. I will bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you go out and as you come in. I'll make you fruitful. He's just telling him, come with your wife. Who is barren. Don't worry about tomorrow. I am God by myself. I am the author of the seed you are carrying in yourself. Now God has made a promise. In other words, God has established a covenant. Abraham violates the uh, uh, covenant. Abraham through what you call polygamy. It is not the will of God that Abraham marries who? Hagar. And through what you call a lying tongue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He lies about who Sarah is to him. For the fear of being killed. It is not wisdom. It is a lying tongue. I didn't say that so that he doesn't get killed. God who called him could still protect him. Now it is violated. Now it has got to be retransferred to the next generation. Let me tell you ladies and gentlemen. Susan the singing you are singing on the altar. You might experience the blessing
blessings today. And also your children shall get to be influenced positively through the seed you planted by holding the microphone of the altar. It is a humble way of saying some of the things you are doing in the house of God today that tithe you are giving that offering you are giving it is for the sake of your children tomorrow while other people's children will be struggling with the issues in life God shall get you as positions because your sacrifices your tithe your offering your commitment commitment to the work of God was laid in place as a seed for the generations to come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now look here ladies and gentlemen. Now it is being passed on from Abraham to Ismail and Isaac. But if you are careful enough, you can agree with me that people who are losing here, they are firstborns. This boy is the seed of Abraham. God had promised Abraham I will never let the seed of your waste to go cry and that's why when the mother cried while they were in the desert God never answered the cry of the mother because God had not entered a covenant with Hagar God does not punish if fast he begins by punishing Adam because God had not entered a covenant with Eve. Whenever something messes up, God begins by first of all asking the person in whom he entered the covenant agreement with. Hallelujah. You may not be the problem, but now you are the problem because you are the one man of God. You are the steward of God. Felix, why did this happen in the house of God? Where were you? Yes, as the pastor was not there. So as a pastor, I'm asking you. But God is asking me because concerning this altar, God has made a covenant with me. Hallelujah. Now this boy he was not a problem to, to Abraham. And uh, just like Adam, Abraham never cast his children. Let us assume it ended there. But through this son, we get Esau and Jacob. I preached here last time and I said, when children are asked in school to name the firstborn of Isaac, for the sake of the mark, they give who? Esau, which is the correct answer. Hallelujah. Mm. But in real sense, the firstborn is who? Jacob. By spirit and also by reality of life. He's a science teacher. He will tell you, even while what one itangwa, identical twins. They are not as identical as such. The tank is different. Fingerprints. Fingerprints. They are different. So there is nothing to do with identical, being identical here. But the reality of the matter is that eh, the firstborn, the person who had been purposed to be the firstborn, it was who? Esau. Esau. And before Esau came out, the Bible teaches they were warfare of the two nations in their womb. What this man did, Alishika huyu migu akarudisha yeye kwa tumbo na yeye akakuja akachungulia akaona jua ndipo akarudi ndani mwa mama yake ndio akaruhusu huyu jamaa akazaliwa kama kuna mtoto alikuwa responsible ni Esa huyu alikuwa yule mtoto ambao wasichana wasikuizi hawapendi anaitwa mama's boy anashinda kwa mama kama kuna kitu cha maana najua ni upishi lakini the aspect of accountability and responsibility in life is how 
Dwangeenda mawindoni alishe mama yake alishe baba yake alishe ndugu yake vile baadhi yenu mnalisha madugu zenu na madada zenu hapa alafu kesho atabebeshwa kitu cha baraka ambacho ulitarajia labda baba yako alipaswa kukubebesha wewe na ataitwa nyumbani abarikiwe wakati wewe haujui utasikia tu naambiwa oh Mama ameniambia niende nyumbani kidogo na baba anasema niende na mbuzi. Na mumsaidie pia kuchanga hiyo mbuzi. Atarudi amaambiwa sasa usiambie Felix the language of hatred inakuja kuingia vile iliingia katikati ya nani? Kain na Abel. Abel. Kwa sababu sasa kwa Kain na Abel inakuja kujidhihirisha kupitia nini? Hatred. Let us assume we are through with the Esau. Let us agree with you as you are taught by that divine pastor that is not the seed of God. And we come back to this gentleman by the name of Jacob. He has given us 12 children. Number one, the very experiences that Isaac went through when he was messed up by Jacob his son they are the same same experiences that Jacob is going through in the Luya Bible we preach and we say no hupaso wa haundu luene davana bo ukampiga baba yako utachapwa na watoto kwa nini usichapwe na mtoto kwa sababu ulipanda mbegu na ni lazima ufune hiyo mbegu ulipanda pamoja na nini na mkate wake. So unachapa mtoto na kiboko bure wakati ungejiita kama mkutano angalau ujiulize maswali kidogo. Mm. Haleluya. Mm. Sasa huyu jamaa he took advantage of his father's blindness. Akachukulia nafasi ya babake kuwa kuwa kibofu. You know why Isaac blessed Jacob instead of blessing Esau. Unajua ni kwa nini Isaka anampatia baraka Yakobo baada ya Esau? It is because Isaac was blind. Ni kwa sababu Isaka alikuwa And now the same same blindness. Na hiyo upofu tu has come to reveal itself through Jacob. Inajidhihirisha kwa Yakobo. I don't want to talk about how he had blessed and cast his children. Because we had talked about it. I want to make on only one element that we finish. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Now the time has come. Number one. He has his son taken away from him. The one he loved. That is Joseph. Number two. He loses Rachel. When she is giving birth to Benjamin, a son he had replaced after Joseph. Hallelujah. I don't know if we are getting some sense here. Number three. Number three. When there is hunger in Canaan, he sends two. Oh, oh, three of his sons anatuma wanao watatu he sends his sons in egypt anawatuma pale miziri to go and tell pharaoh naambiwa mpie farao to request okay to, to kindly host them for a while akaese kaa pale kwa muda till it shall be well with canaan ili kwamba kukawe salama or if possible na ikiwa naweza kana to sell food to them but in the very process lakini katika hali hiyo simeon is taken into captivity simeon anashikwa mateka and they tell him na wanamwambia For us to release Simeon you must bring Benjamin to us Now he is a victorious man But because the time of the curse has come and it is already in the system He has now begun losing He is losing He has been winning all through He won against his brother in his mother's womb and he took the birthright he won against his brother in the reality of life and he took his birthright with the help of the mother he, with the help of his mother he got blessed by his father with the blessing that was supposed to be blessed upon his 
brother. When he's on the way running to Canaan, he meets the angel of God. He fights and wins until the angel calls him Israel, meaning the one who overcomes. Now that is to say, he's a man with winning experiences, but today he is losing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now he is losing, losing. Because whether you like it or not, the time for the curse must come. Ni watu wangapi kwenu kule kwenye unatoka ndio wamekuwa kipika machapati kila Christmas bag na Felix balorera kota rufu kwa mmolo muluka kaidia they cannot even access. You know? Wao ndio wana baba nzuri, wako na magari vizuri, saa hii wanakulwa na chikas. Miku imefura. Saa hii hakuna mtoto hata mmoja wao ameoa. Ni ule vitu sigara wanawake pombe ujinga mingi hivyo saa hii watoto wao ni waizi watoto ambao tulikuwa tunapenda na kuheshimu he calls his children anaita watoto wake in the name of telling them what shall befall them in the future kuambia kila ambacho kitawafika huko mbele he does not tell them come so that i may bless you the person upon whom he seems to be releasing a blessing is Levi. But he does not bless him. He wishes him. It is one fortune that he is giving him. Your brothers shall worship you. Shall bow to you. Hallelujah. But he keeps the blessing with him. The one he is supposed to bless is first of all. Now the time for him to go to the grave has come. He is blind. He has not released the blessing yet. And he is yet to go to the grave. Then someone tells Joseph when he is in Egypt. Your father is almost dead. Run home. Now Joseph because he had just been helped by God. He desired that his father blesses his children. With the blessing he could have blessed him. Now Joseph carries his two sons whom he gave birth to while he was in Egypt. Manasseh the firstborn and Ephraim the lastborn. He comes with them to his father. And he his father says, Allow me take these two of your sons as my own. They are my children from today. In other words, they are your brothers. In other words, they are your brothers. They will no longer be your children. These ones are your brothers. If you read well, Felix, the Bible says, Jacob tells Joseph, the children Ephraim and Manasseh shall give birth to from now. They shall be your children. But for now, Ephraim and Manasseh, you are two children. They are no longer yours. They are mine. So call them your brother. Why is Jacob saying like that? Because he has a blessing in store that he has not released on his firstborn that he must release on his firstborn who is, was supposed to be Reuben but Reuben messed it up because of having slept with his father's concubine especially the mama you know, while he was blessing the other children, something had arrested his tongue. So that exactly the pattern of his forefathers repeats itself. Now the time has come for the pattern to manifest. Jacob becomes the second parent to curse his children. But because he can't go to the grave with the firstborn blessing, he comes to release the blessing upon the children of Joseph. 
Joseph took his two sons to his father. That his father may have blessed them, I mean. Now he took Manasseh, the firstborn, on his left hand. And Ephraim on his right hand. Which means Ephraim. Ephraim, on the left hand of Joseph, he is Joseph. on the right hand of Jacob. So that Jacob can bless him with the firstborn blessing. And the Bible says, when they reached Jacob, he crisscrossed his hands. Now, instead of Manasseh carrying the firstborn blessing, Ephraim was instead blessed with the firstborn blessing. And according to to the tradition. It was wrong. Joseph complains to his father that what you are doing is wrong. But the father says, I know what I am doing. But in real sense, Jacob did not know what he was doing. Something had arrested his tongue. He was under the control. What happened to Adam? Now it is revealing to Itself to Jacob, exactly as it has been happening to the other generations. It is asking, who are you to bless the firstborn? Yet we have been blessing the younger ones. There is a problem with the firstborn. It began in Eden. The only way to correct it. It is to break that curse. And how do you break the curse? You break that curse through repentance. After Adam made a mistake. Instead of repenting. He brought in the blame game. Instead of Seth repenting, he lacked the revelation. It has manifested itself to Noah. Instead of Noah repenting, he blamed his son for not having covered him. Hallelujah. Had Noah repented, he could be the first father to break that curse in his blood so that our firstborn children they encounter the blessings of the Lord. There is a mistake also that harm made his son Canaan is being cursed. Yet Ham knows that he is blessed of God. But Ham lacked revelation. It is dangerous to be a Christian or a servant of God who does not walk in revelation. If there is anything I pray for you is that God helps you to walk in revelation because revelation is the truth. When you sing in Revelation, you are singing in the truth. When you preach or teach the word in Revelation, you are teaching the truth. When you pray in Revelation, you don't run out of time. You pray prayers that are answered because you already know the truth. And the truth sets free. I think now you are the problem. Why there is drunkenness in your home? Why there are broken marriages in your home because you have refused to walk in revelation. You are the reason why there are deadly diseases in your home. Why there are joblessness. Why there are marriage dropouts. Why there are school dropouts. Why there is instability in your family because you have refused to walk in revelation. I judge you brethren. Let us come back that we walk in revelation. Let us stop selling water in church. Let us stop selling anointing oil. Stop selling brooms. And start speaking revelation. Revelation will deliver those people. Don't sell handkerchiefs. Give them the revelation. Let me tell you, to make sense in the current gospel today, walk in revelation. Revelation. Susan, kama nukuimba tumeimba mami. Kama nukuimba Pastor Wycliffe Jackson has sung. Nilikuwa na tamani sana those days. Akina Shari Martin. Nilikuwa 
na rafiki yangu rafiki pesa tulipendana sana maisha yetu yalikuwa mazuri nitakacho unipatia wakati nilikuja kushikana na huyo mtu wa Mungu hivi nikapata good does not full good to self nikatamani chibalonza my good god hallelujah Jubile, jubile. And, and, and you feel that lady is anointed. Kenya may produce another anointed one. Muta producer aje. Mimi naomba waimbaji wa Tokenge tu Kongo wakikuja hapa Kenya kungara hapa na Tanzania wakikuja kungara hapa. Because Kenya muta producer aje waimbaji wametiwa mafuta ambao wanatembea kwa hofu ya Bwana. Yet yule pastor mwenye amekualika Mombasa wende uimbe kwa church yake unalala na yeye kwa hotel. Fear of God iko hapo. Wewe hata una kanisa, hauna mtu unaita baba wa kiroho, hauna mtu ambaye chini ya neema yake unatembea, hautoangi sadaka, hautoangi fungu la kumi. watu wanabeba Biblia wakikuja nayo kanisani, wewe unabeba flash disk imebeba beats za keyboard. Unakuja church umechelewa, haujaomba unataka upewa madhabahu uimbe, na usipopewa unasema hiyo kanisa hawani recognize unatoka unaenda kwa ingine. How will you grow with God? If you don't allow God to order the steps of your feet, the question becomes how can God trust you? Mungu anaweza kuamini hivyo. Sie sikuja kuimba hapo mpaka nilipwe. Mimi niliwaambia wote kwanza kwa church planning crusade yetu nilisema sitaki waimbaji wa Kayole kaeni kwenu. Na mtaona online kama kazi ya Mungu itakuwa imefanyika kama haita fanyika. Ilifanyika haikufanyika. Wakati nilishikana na Chibalonza nikapata though she's good yes but good does not feel good to self when there is better in the house just like better will lose value tomorrow after best shall have been promised mm. nikasema ah nimefika hivyo viwango vya kuu vya juu nikafika pale nikasema oh now i don't want partnerships with these other common singers i also want to raise my own profile and i was like ni wina wichera sinja kunyasa Omulonje wele kolone lilova niko kuche nyashinga ya bilonga nyasae nyasae watoto neka hit nikasema aya nime hit kila tv na ni play kila radio na ni play napigiwa simu nime ai but even after being there you realize being there doesn't really feel like being there and i was like oh the only difference is god i said yes nita hit lakini katika ku hit i'll be the first man to hit in kenya nikiwa bado nimebeba msalaba amen as you come to nanisikia amen i'll be the first man to hit in the preaching of the gospel lakini bado nime impress nini msalaba i admire me- the only man i admire hapa kenya wacha niwaambie tu kweli ni harrison nganga that man preaches sense na kisimama hakuna siku Harrison Nganga amewahi simama kwa madhabahu nikakosa kupata ufunuo lakini hawa wenu wanaenda kwa madhabahu wanasema eh hey, wewe ni nani wewe ni anti yake <laughs> unaweza nipiga na nabadilisha kisauti anakaa tu kitu kingine can i professor alafu nasikia mjinga mwingine anashuta professor imano kwa kina kwa kitu kimepewa micro hata kesi kipata hapa mbele kanisa saa saa hizi ni showrooms kuna tungombe imewekwa pale kwa control room si hata mtu anafanya wal record hiyo kitu sasa ina play ngi kama dj professor man of god next year such time as this you will be present kind of a man you don't know pia unajiita professor mungu abariki huyo mzaa anaitwa harrison nganga harrison nganga tafadhali kama unanionchi zeka tu pole pole bako kuleka apart from kula matunda wa watoto wako kuleka pia yangu ya transforming grace this man is a reasonable guy ah wetu mtu wa Mungu hapana anakuambia sivyo ameenda kwa mlima gani kukuombea tuma tuma mtu wa Mungu unatuma kitu haiko bora anaingia kwa mshwari anakopa Mungu akulange vitu za watu ovyo ovyo watu wa Mungu tafadhali na nimehubiri hapa injili ya maana ndio hii mwananiacha tu ninakauka kauka hivi kuliko mnitumie mimi mnaenda kutumia watu sijui yako Jerusalem kwa mlima gani sijui inaitwa nini Goja Goja siku inakuja I'll be going through the jet yes but still with the fear of God Amen. I have my fear of God 
even in that particular V8. Hallelujah. Amen. They see me come out of the, of the, of the V8 and I'm like, hallelujah, once again, Lord, in an expensive suit as of this kind, but I still lie on the floor. Yeah? See, I'm going to get to your 1,200 camera, hallelujah. So, I'm going to get to your camera, 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 I'm going to get to your camera. Let us be a different church. Amen. Najua kayole kumechafuka, kayole kumechulikana kama the home of terrorists, but we can be a unique church in kayole. Oh, yes. Can something good come out of Nazareth? Nazareth. Sasa Felix, kwa sababu saa menua kapurado, akifika kwa madhabau, language ime change. Mazejo, unajo God, anabless what to jo. Yeah, man. Iyo kuchanganyikiwa, ndi imesababisha mungu wa mekosa imani na nyinyi, you are working out of the emotions. Now, between Ephraim and Manasseh, what happened between Cain and Apel? The language of hatred, hatred Chuki. has been written. Look at your family. You have been sober. Good sons and daughters of that father and mother. Working together, doing everything together. What happened that today you are not one? You denied yourself. You shifted to a single room. In fact, you are a party. So that you can take your sister, your brother to school. But only to realize later. The parents were taking advantage of you. Now you see, you have invested in a dysfunctional system. You get married to a lady who has a child. You take that child as your own. You give birth to another son. You took the two of them to school. You even get a job for him. But at the end of the time, the father of that child comes for the mother together with the son. Felix, at 60 years, you are telling me, Pastor, will you please get another lady for me? <laughs> it is disappointing. These things are happening in our families. They are happening in our lives. The secret is this, ladies and gentlemen. You can break this curse. How do you break this curse? Number one, repentance. And when you repent, Focus on this. Disobedience. Disobedience is the key. These other ones will vaporize when you work on disobedience. And the reason why it is becoming fatalized in your life it is because you are disobedient. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord has told you very well. Avoid not the gathering together of the saints on the Sabbath of the Lord. As it is the custom with the people of this world. But when people are worshipping, you don't worship. When people are going to church, you are on the plot. You have already disobeyed. How do you expect it to be well with you? Hallelujah. The Bible has told you in Malachi 3.10 Bring ye all the tithe that there may be food in my house. You are employed but you can't tithe. You are earning but you can't give your offering. I'm not cursing you but I'm confident to tell you according to the word of God it shall be wrong with you. I'm telling you it shall be wrong with you Because every time the covenant is violated It shall be wrong The Bible has told you Worship me I will bless your water I will bless your air I will bless your food I will fortify you You know very well what the Bible says 
But you have scorned it. In the state of studying the word of God. Learning the truths of the word of God. And doing as per the truth. You are so running here and there to the diviners. That they may sell salt to you. They may sell the handkerchiefs. You will be cast. It can never be well with you. You know very well you are supposed to be in charge. But you can't even call your pastor to tell your pastor it is like this and like this. You just keep quiet where you are. And you expect it shall be well with you. And if I ask you, you cheat on me. I was called at work. When you know very well, you are not called at work. That's why you have created loopholes. For what happened in the lives of your forefathers. To repeat itself in your life. Choose to be obedient today. I allow you in one minute. Take your tithes, take your offering with you. You can kneel down on your knees and tell God, I'm really sorry. I mean you repent before God. Come on God, I'm sorry. That after this revelation, now I learn of what is eating me. I learn the reason why I'm jobless. The reason why I'm running out of time. The reason why there's no peace in my marriage. The reason why my children do not have excellence in their academics. The reason why we are suffering from deadly diseases. The reason why we have several sicknesses every now and then on regular occasions in our family. I'm really sorry that now I learned the reason why my husband is a drunkard. I understand why the reason why my wife is cheating on me. It is because God I have created room for what's happened in my forefather's life to manifest itself in in my life today through disobedience I pray forgive me God I repent on my knees I'm genuine on my heart oh God let go of this sin let go of the effects of this sin even those that I did by myself knowingly and unknowingly I have been a drunkard like them I find myself developing the appetite for smoking exactly as they did. For drunkenness exactly as they did. Inside of me. Though I haven't acted in the real life. But I find myself a drug dealer. I find myself a smuggler of drugs. Forgive me, O oh God. Take me away from this sin. Separate me from this blood. Purify me with the blood of Jesus. That speaketh better things than the blood of Adam. And God bless my children. You can mention them on your mouth. You can call them by their names. You can bless each one of them wherever you are. In the name of Jesus. It is something you have to be radical about. It is something you have to be serious about. Because if you are not careful, it will eat you tomorrow. I will not preach about it tomorrow. But it will eat you tomorrow. This is the time you have to break that curse in the name of Jesus. Because there is grace in the house. There is power in the house. There is flow of the spirit in the house. There is revelation in the house. Break that curse in the name of Jesus. And after you break it now, begin to bless your life. Begin to bless your wife. Begin to bless your husband. Begin to bless your children. Call a fiancé your way. Call a man to marry your way. Call a young lady to get married to. Call them to come your way. Call a job to come your way. Because you are blessed of God. The blessings of the Lord. They make rich. And they add no sorrow. In the name of Jesus. Begin to order new things. I am a royal priesthood. I am a peculiar person. I am a servant of God. I am a chosen generation. I am preserved. For the greatness. 
Oh. At the appointed time, oh. I will not enjoy my goodness oh. in the times of my old age. I'm beginning to enjoy it right now till the appointed time when the Lord shall call me home. I shall not die maturely. None of my children shall die maturely. I bless my children where my fathers never succeeded, where my mothers never succeeded. I bless my children. May you begin to succeed. May you begin to receive it. May you begin to advance. May you begin to flourish because this is your time. The hour of grace has come in the name of Jesus. 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 We bless you Lord. For your faithfulness. Tonight Jehovah. As a priest of this family. Upon this altar. After I have received this revelation. And given it to your people. As the lamb on the lamb stands of God. To give it out to the children of God. I take the responsibility. Accountable enough. To break this curse. In their families. Some of them are cursed with the ministry curse because the enemy purposed to do it and because also God they also made mistakes that attracted it as a priest of God I call for the mercies of God remember mercy upon each one of them receive the mercies of God receive the mercies of God may you be cleansed with the blood of Jesus that speak at the better things than the blood of Abel. Today in the name of Jesus, I declare every curse, be it from parents, be it generational, be it out of your own mistakes, get broken right now in the name of Jesus. Every given form of the yoke, you are carrying on the shoulders of your life by this anointing in the name of Jesus. I break it and lift it off your shoulder in the name of Jesus. You are a child of God. I bless you the priestly blessing. And exactly as the curse of, of, of Noah could not touch him. So I declare you blessed of God. Because you are blessed of God. No curse from the mouth of the haters of God shall touch you. Because you are blessed of God. And whatever God blesses, no man shall curse. Some of us, some of the children of God here, oh my God, remember mercy. The reason they are jobless is because a curse has been operating in their lives. I release you. Go get jobs. Go get promotions. Go get peace in your marriage. Go get love in your marriage. Go get a spouse that will not waste your time but marry you. In the name of Jesus, I bring order again and fear of God upon your children that they shall fear you with the fear of the Lord and honor you as a parent because the curse is lifted. May you be light in life. May you be light again. Be light again because the burdens are shifted in the name of Jesus. And again, Father, I receive this tithe and this offering and the sacrifices from your people. They have spoken upon them. Establish their prayer. Establish them in their needs. Let them advance and raise a standard of living. Even Lord, as I receive them, I pray that Lord, because they have honored you, may this attract honor from heaven in the name of Jesus. Because Lord, you create opportunities for us. You are a God who can do anything so as to make us happy. Make them happy in your own way. Teach them how to make profit. Make them happy in your own way. For the glory and honor of your name. Amen. 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 Amen.